Hello. Okay, so here I have a picture of gliocapsa. Gliocapsa is a cyanobacterial cell, um, which is, of course, a photosynthetic bacteria. And um, what you're seeing here is basically a uh, like a, almost like a colonial situation, although there is no contact between the cells. You have a cell that is here, 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 four separate cells. They're united by a gelatinous sheath. Whenever there is a cell of glucapsa, it's, here's a cell, it is surrounded by a gelatinous sheath. Then, <clears throat> when it undergoes fission for, you know, to divide, to create more cells, you end up with, here's one rounded division, now you have two cells, and each one has a gelatinous sheath of its own, and they maintain the original gelatinous sheath. And why, why maintain this gelatinous sheath, or what's the adaptation for this? Uh, it could be a, a flotation device, which keeps it close to the sunlight. It could be protection against um, um, predation from other cells, from uh, eukaryotic cells, from protists, for example. It is harder to uh, digest if it has this gelatinous sheath. Um, it could be a step towards uh, multicellularity, you know, just keeping the cells together, and eventually some something evolves to uh, to communication between the cells. Uh, but that's not the case here with gliocapsa. Gliocapsa, the cells are separate, although they are maintained in clusters because of this, these gelatinous sheets. Um, so let me highlight that. Here you have one cell, another cell. Okay. And here you have a gelatinous sheath for one. Here's another one. And then you have the original one uh, for those two. And you have a gelatinous sheath that puts all these together. Sorry about that, motorcycles. And um, contrast this to a colonial of uh, Nostoc or Anabina and Oscillatoria, right? These cells are in direct contact with each other, while you, you don't get that with Gliocapsa. Uh, 